Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to talk about the uh, new Harmony OS version 2.00166 update that arrived on my MatePad Pro and my Mate 30 Pro. So let's get started. So what I want to do is show you the new features and one of the new feature is multi-cam support which allows you to use various different Harmony OS devices to switch in between video recording between those devices and the front and back cameras. So what I can do right now is just on my MatePad here's my face on my MatePad Pro that I'm using here right now with this camera I can switch to my Mate 30 Pro which also got the new brand new update to the rear camera and it's connecting right now and now you should see the rear camera of the Mate 30 Pro so I'm using now the rear camera here and have my tablet there and I can switch because the tablet is the controlling device I can switch between the cameras have to click on select camera it gives me a list of cameras I can choose front or back camera and now I choose uh, this device front camera here which is now the MatePad Pro. So this is one of the biggest new features in this version Harmony OS 2.00166 and imagine if you have a third device where you just control the, um, yeah, if you just a controller, just like I have my Mate 40 here right now, Mate 40 Pro. If I could use this with Harmony OS as just controller for various different cameras running uh, Harmony OS, this would be so awesome with one or two clicks. I can just simply switch to another camera system and uh, control everything, which is pretty pretty awesome and uh, yeah as you can see here auto focusing is also working nicely and everything is recorded right now on the matepad pro which is also pretty cool and also all the switches are working fine it's using the microphones here as well as you can see here i'm having the huawei freebuds 4 here right now which are connected to the matepad pro which is then recording and this audio stream as well pretty pretty awesome i would say for this setup and yeah why do you need a camera multi-cam camera system or something like this if you can use this for multi-camera uh, collaboration you don't need like various different streams that you record in parallel you can just use one controller two three different cameras and then yeah use your even older Harmony has powered Huawei devices as uh, additional cameras for like a super wide angle, a close up shot or something like this. So you can produce even movies or studio setups like news broadcasting and so on with your Huawei devices. And this is really a very, very powerful feature. And me as a video guy who's using a lot of Huawei products, this is really top notch. Thank you Huawei for this good feature but there is more and let's check out a bit more so let's go here and what i want to do is uh, stop the recording and here i show you first of all the interface as you can see here i'm now using screen recording on my matepad pro i have the select camera uh, what you have to do is you go to the more option and choose multicam and if you say select camera, it's searching for cameras and finds all the Harmony OS 2.00166 powered devices. As you can see here, this device front and rear have the access here to switch um, between the cameras and uh, front and rear of my Mate 30 Pro. Of course, I also have the option to switch from this video mode to a photo mode if I want to. This is also possible in here. But there is another feature. And it's a pretty cool feature for smartphones, especially. If you know it, the new Harmony OS has a new control center feature. So I swipe down here, I get my control center. The cool new feature is I can just swipe on the top here, as you can see here, swipe across to switch to the notification panel. I say got it, and now I get to my notification panel so I can swipe between notifications and my control panel if I accidentally opened up one or another which is also pretty cool especially on the phone not so much on the tablet where i think the control center and the notifications could be put in parallel so here then make the notifications uh, left aligned and have the yeah control panel right aligned this would work uh, especially for the tablet but we will see what huawei will do 
Let's go into the um, system updates, software update on my Huawei Mate Pad Pro. I also get a new animation screen here that the Harmony S devices that ship with Harmony OS already got. I can click in here to get my uh, change log and here you can see the version 2.00166 uh, and we can read about the changes. I showed you already the camera uh, support at multicam support for Harmony S 2.00166 running devices and we have the control panel option with swiping and we have now optimizations for the drop down menu operations in gaming situations. I didn't have any issues with this so far so I cannot really tell you anything about this. Integrated security patches for improved uh, system security. So what we will have is here when we go and take a look at security patch, we have the 1st July of 2021. As August started already, I think it's a good track record when it comes to this. But keep in mind, this is a Chinese only release. So uh, this Harmony OS version will or is not yet ready for other devices. So my MatePad 11, for example, my global MatePad 11 that I bought here in Germany, doesn't have this update yet. Otherwise I would have like a free camera setup that I would have shown you here. Otherwise that is pretty much everything for the new Harmony OS version uh, 2.00166. If you have some questions or comments or if you noticed a new feature, maybe an update of an application or something like this, write it down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.